Father, you're always with us, always walking with us, oh God. You never leave us, you know, forsake us. You're always right here, always with us, Father God, no matter the circumstances, Father God. So, Lord Jesus, I just welcome you into this room, Father God. And, Lord God, I just pray for each heart, Father God, listening, my God, that, Lord Jesus, as I even speak on just being steadfast, Father God, I just pray that, Lord, they will pick something out of this, Father God, that will minister to them, Lord God. And, Father, I just commit myself to you that, Lord, I don't speak out of my own flesh. And, Father, I just pray that, Lord, you will come and you will speak through me, my God. Let your presence, Father God, be present in each person's environment my God right now Lord Jesus may you be so filled in that place wherever you are in the name of Jesus Yes, so Father God, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for this time, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the opportunity to even be here, Lord God. I am thankful. I'm just so grateful, Father God. So, Lord Jesus, come just take over, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen, everyone. So yeah, I'm talking on being steadfast. Um, it's something when I was just, you know, spending time in prayer uh, a couple of weeks ago and God, you know, just downloaded that on my heart. And I was thinking, okay, what can I talk about? And um, I started to look for some scriptures, you know, that, that talks about being steadfast, you know, in, in God. So I was led to read uh, Corinthians 15, uh, verse 58. So he says, therefore, my dear brothers, stand firm, let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord. So, yeah, it really st struck something in me. And I just said, OK, what is it to stand firm, you know, in God? What is it that we need to stand firm in God? And, you know, you start to look at your life, you start to look at your daily life, what the things you're getting your, yourself involved into, you know, and stuff. Um, am I living like that? To be honest, if I'm honest with you, I don't think so, no. I'll, I'll not lie. Because, you know, whatever you, you put out there is basically what you've been spending time with. I think like what you watch, what you what you put more time into is exactly what you manifest. Mm -hmm. And if you're not spending more time in God's presence, how do you expect, you know, miraculously to just have God's presence in you and feel confident in him and all that? So yeah, anyway, I started to just, you know, think of things that, you know, that come under that. So before you know uh, before you so you imagine living always grounded in God's word in his presence and always in tune in his spirit just walking in his will so if you walk in his will always in tune and grounded in him you can never go wrong you can never ever go wrong in his presence you can never ever go wrong because if you meet a situation like okay you meet a situation where um, you've lost a loved one how are you gonna stand that you have to be standing firm in God so then you you find that comfort in him if you don't you know if you're not going to stay in that place how are you going to be able to you know make yourself stand tall and mm. and strong in tough times mm. that's where we are encouraged you know to to spend time in god's presence mm. to spend time praying to spend time reading the word mm. you know that's what makes us steadfast and 
the most important of all yes we can pray we can do all that and stuff but knowing god's word is one of the most important things you need because when a challenge arises to you you can say nah -uh, enemy you know whatever devil you are saying this is not what my father says about me mm. you know you can be able to to go back and forth and battle it mm. out with the enemy and say ah no 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 this is what my father says of me i am loved i am not you know forsaken he loves me he's always with me mm. he will be with me you know it's situations like that. that's when you speak the word into situations so to be steadfast is to be unmoved spiritually grounded this means you 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 literally have spiritual growth deeply rooted in god in his word mm. not shaken you're not just a stick that will just be picked off the ground you know it has no roots it's got nothing on it doesn't have anything to it it's just a dead stick so you're like a tree that is totally grounded and you know it's getting the nutrition nutrition that it needs through the word that's the only way you can grow in that mm. you're unshaken and unmovable in what whatever belief you know so like in conversations when you're having with friends and stuff you know some things are quite challenging especially with uh things of faith um talk about somebody who is a muslim maybe they will point across something are you gonna be able to to stand firm or are you gonna be just taken to their side because yeah they believe that yeah i should believe that too you need to know who you are in god so then when you know yourself in god you're able to say no but this is what my father says this is what exactly what my father says mm you can mm. you can actually um stand tall because you know who your father is yes. so you're not tossed back and forth by whatever wave that comes in just because oh you know there's this new music and all of this and that oh yeah i should get on and you know just join in as well no no you are set apart for a reason you mm. are called by god yes Lord. for a reason you know mm. you need to you know put yourself out there to be the light of the world you know just like jesus walked on this earth you know he did not just abide to you know whatever people's rules mm. just mm. because or oh, somebody has said all oh, this then you just have to follow that rule just because but have you even confirmed with the father is that what he wants you to do no yes who knows but then if you are not spending time with him you won't know so this will involve a lot of faith and a lot of trust and hope so in challenging battling times you know you don't have no money you know you are on your last pennies you are on the ground you do not know where the money for tomorrow you don't know whether you're gonna even have food tomorrow that's where you need to have faith in god but how how are we going to be able to have faith in god if we just yeah assume that oh yeah 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 god will make a provision you have to remind god you have to go back into scripture and say god you said you're a faithful god you provided for the you know for the israel is israelites so why can't you provide provide for us why can't you protect me why can't you do this for me you know mm -hmm. you have to remind god his words mm -hmm. and say god this is what you said forget that not you know you will stand true to your word because you're a good father you give us what we want but we are not spoiled children that you know when we ask something we are given it straight away no but you have to ask is persistency you know in, in god's presence in god's you know um in prayer in word you know things like that so you grow spiritually you are grounded as well so it's to have faith in god and to be sorely put on all their trust in God, no matter whatever situation you are in, you know, trusting that God will make a provision for that money that, you know, you might not have in your account right now. And, um, or like make a provision in the sense of, oh, um, I don't know what I'm going to even wear tomorrow. I'm literally on my last, um, 
door of penny i don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow i don't even know if i'm gonna survive tomorrow you know you might be unwell uh, right now you don't know how many days you have on this earth you know it's things like that you know you are then reminded you know to really trust in god and to put your faith and your hope in god and you know one thing that i love about god is because he, the fact that he sent jesus to 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 save us we have hope we know that we can see tomorrow because we have hope even if we die today we still have hope mm. you know we are still alive in god we are still alive in christ in whatever we do we are still alive in him as he says you know lean not on your own understanding the moment when we start to lean on, on our own understanding we start to fail because we are um glorifying uh, whatever we are doing on this earth to become yes righteous and rightful because that's one thing as christians we we can get wrong because um yes something might be right and this might be right but in god's eyes is it actually right so it's things we have to weigh in but that comes wisdom and you know you have to ask god for wisdom and uh, um, um discernment as well um to know whether you're doing the right thing you are you're following the right things um maybe you have a big decision to make maybe you have to move countries maybe you are you're making a decision about your education maybe you're making a decision for your family maybe you have you know there are a lot of things that we might be trying to decide but you can't do these things out of your own thinking mm -hmm. yes yes we that's how we function in the moment but you know we need to always you know check in with god is that what he wants us to to do is that what he wants us to to be led to go and do out there um are you asking me to move from this church lord to that church are you asking me lord you know to go and serve somewhere else and and do something else you know you really have to spend time you know in his presence that's the only way you can know that this is what god is saying to me mm. and that can be very difficult if you are not really planted in god and you're not shaken up by whatever that's coming because <laughs> sometimes life can make you do the most ridiculous decisions because you are so pushed against the walls to the point that you just have to burst you you just find yourself making decisions because you just cannot deal with life anymore but it's so important to to just drive ourselves more closer to god so we know that whatever we are doing we are doing these things through god through him through his strength not our own strength through his strength even uh, in ephesians 4 verse 14 it says so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the war uh, by the waves and carried about about by every wind of doctrine by craftiness in deceitful um, schemes so it's like when the wind blows just because oh the wind just blew this way i've got to go that way or oh, everyone else is doing the same i've got to join in the crew you know it's it's not about that you really need to search where you are in your walk with god in you know in that time in that season grow in that in that place you know yes we are celebrating christmas at the moment but you know you need to be careful of where you are at yes we are grateful that god has been so good to us throughout the year we are thanksgiving you know from churches to churches it's it's all good it's all fantastic but we need to really be careful we need to be steadfast in his presence in his in his ways whatever he's telling us he might you know while you're celebrating christmas he might be telling you uh uh pack your bags you need to go somewhere else you need to go and serve you you don't know this until you spend time with him and you 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 are grounded in his word as i said again and i'll say over and over again it's all about being grounded in in his word in his in his presence you know we'll find his truth what god says about living the right way that is pleasing to god so also you know by us spending more time in in the fleshly stuff we find ourselves kind of you know getting diverted um like myself like this week um because we've just finished at nursery and i'm working all that 
I kind of get lost in the in the midst of everything and I was like no God I really need to to come back I have to come back in you because that's mm. where I find my strength even yes I can find strength to do whatever I'm doing you know my job um, family friends and things like that I have to find my strength in God because you're the one who's giving me this breath because mm. this breath you can easily take it away yes. in a split of a second the fact that I'm even sitting here he can just take it away yes. and it's up to him it's totally up to him that's being dependent on God on him knowing that I don't know because you know it's very easy as believers we worry we worry we worry that oh my god yes i'm sitting here right now and i'm about to go to church oh yes we are about to go to church but <laughs> who knows that's why we have to live in in a rightful way in the right manner um you know glorifying god being repentant you know at all times with open hearts open spirit to receive from him constantly be a channel be you know don't be open to the to the point that um you know you allow any anything and everything to just come in you are allowing consciously that you know the spirit of god is speaking to you is filtering in something connecting to heaven speaking to you in your heart and constantly in praise for his word for his for his name you know because it's him it's it's all onto him you know we really need to seek him to read his word the truth of the gospel to penetrate in our hearts in our minds mm -hmm. you know if we so with the word you really yes where do you can read the word there is reading the word like you're just reading a novel. Yes, you can read the word. Mm. But there is so much hidden in the word. And the more you spend time in his presence, and even just in quietness, you read something. And God will literally blow your mind. And he will speak to you like in, in the things that you, your life, you, you do. And um, sometimes he will even bring conviction yes. Yes. Yeah, in your yes. heart. And you're like, oh my gosh, yes, it's so true. You know, God is not trying to say, oh, you, you've done this, you've done that and stuff. No, he's just trying to speak to us as, as a good God. He's not coming shouting and, you know, blaring out the whole house, you know. No, he will come with peace. And he will come and make understanding of whatever you need to understand in that word, in that verse. So it's all in that time of interceding, prayer, you know, he will reveal a lot. He will speak to you, you know, because the moment we, we are filled by his spirit, that, you know, then we can actually detect if there's any errors um, in your life. So it could be, okay, this week, oh, I've been doing this and that. You know when something is wrong. You know when you've done something wrong. You know, we, we know this, guys. And that is the spirit of God saying you've done something wrong. And you know you need to put it right straight away. And thank God for grace because if we didn't have grace, I don't know where we would be. Some of us, I do not know where we would be. And you know the enemy knows how to play our minds and he will play things over and over again in our heads and so you're not loved you know he, he doesn't care about you look at you you don't have money in your account yet you are still praying on the same god uh you, this and that. no you say uh-uh enemy do you remember 10 years ago this is what this was the situation i was in i trusted in god and god took me mm. out he brought me through he took me from the dirt and he set mm. me on the table to to feast mm. with you know with with people who are higher up there you know mm. what i mean that is being steadfast mm. when a challenge comes you challenge the enemy too and say no i know who i am i will tell you you who i am you don't tell me what what i am in god I know who I am in God. So um, as I was, you know, just reading through, I, I met, I saw a scripture, Luke 4, verse 9 um, to 11. It said, uh, this was when uh, the devil was basically tempting um, Jesus. And he says, the devil led him to Jerusalem and 
and he had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down from here for he will command his angels concerning, concerning you to guard you carefully. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not um, strike your foot against a stone. But Jesus answered, he says, so you can see God is basically using God's words and mm -hmm. saying, it says, because he knows who he is. He knows mm -hmm. who he is in God. So he's saying, uh-uh, you don't tell me what to do. You don't just come on the scene and you tell me to fall, you know, and, and bow down to whatever you want me to do. I will not bow down to whatever the enemy is going to bring to me. No matter how challenging, I am going to stand firm in the word, in his glory and glorify his mm. name and praise him. Yes. No matter how, how hard, no matter how, um, like I'm going to lose my breath, God. I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose everything that I am. I'm going to lose every single part of me you will still say God you are still God you are still good you will fight my battles you have come through and you will come through again and again are you not Jesus who died on the cross and came out and you resurrected on the third day mm. you will make life out of my situation no matter how hard it is you will make life out of my situation and then Jesus said, he says, do not put the word, do not put the Lord, your God to, to the test because he knows who he is. He said, nah, -uh, don't put my father to test because I serve a bigger God. When the devil had finished all his tempting, cause he, you know, it will end. That's one thing I saw in that, in that, in that verse, when the devil had finished all this temp tempting so like yes it might come in this season but it's not gonna last forever mm. it's not gonna last forever yes okay let's say death okay we die and stuff but no it's not forever we see we're gonna see god one day we're gonna go to heaven mm. so there's always hope and then um it says uh, in second peter uh, verse 1 to 2. So it says, May grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God. So knowledge of God is the confidence that you know that God is always going to come back for you. Not that he's even going to leave you. He's always going to be there for you. Or oh, Jesus our Lord. And then it says, But grow in the grace and knowledge of our lord savior jesus to him be the glory but no and to to the day of eternity eternity to glory the glory but no to the day of eternity sorry so basically it's knowing that you know no matter however you know how heavy the situations whatever you're facing god is going to just be with you he's going to walk with you and you know he's going to lift you up no matter how down you are, speak to God, speak to him because that he's the best counselor. He's the best listener. He will help you through it all. You know, the moment we, we can trust in, in man, but men do fail as well. Just like, you know, I fail, you know, we can't put all our trust in, in a human being. Yes. Our mothers protect us. Our fathers protect us. They want the best for us, but you really need to depend on God in his knowledge you know open up the words let him speak to you let him minister to you um ask for dreams ask um for him to to minister to you in visions ask mm -hmm. for him to um minister to you in different ways he will he will show up on the scene god will never let us down you know he's always been faithful from the beginning to the end um the fact that we are here today breathing even you know talking discussing of him it's his grace, it's his goodness, it's his, it's his mercies. So um, I'm just going to read First John um, 2 verse 24. Let what you hear from the beginning abide in you. If what you heard from the, big, from the beginning abides in you, then you too will abide in the Son, mm -hmm. in the Father. You know, so whatever you hear, 
now whatever you hear in the word don't don't just settle for for small just because you know this is what the enemy is shouting out and is, is screaming out louder in your head don't settle for that because there's more there's a lot more than that um god is probably speaking so much more on a, on your finances on your children on your families on your on your walk with god on you know on your faith in everything that you're doing as you're serving god is probably speaking greater and mighty things and anyway if you are in those times in the desert that's where god is actually ministering the most to you he that's where he's there the most like you you actually feel because you're feeling that pain and the thing is god does not want us to go through all this pain and anguish and all that it's not of god he, that's where he will come close in and really wrap you up close and say you know hold on i am here you know you will go through you will shine through at the end of the day so i just want to encourage um whoever is listening i don't know what area of your life you know you want god to move and um there might be stagnance in in certain areas of your life i just want to speak life over that situation mm -hmm. that lord whatever that's dead may come to life all those dry, all those dry bones may they come to life because you know we serve a mighty god who is able to to do all things father god and even the in unimaginable things god who, who can you know come out or out of a grave you know what mm. i mean he is able to do all things was able to part the seas you know things like that then we really need to just put our faith our trust in him to know that he will be with us he will even carry us he'll yeah he will put you on his back and say yes we will go through this together we will make it through and you know you will find success at the end of the day at the end of the year whatever you're expecting god to do he will do it mm -hmm. you know so i just want to thank god right now and i say god i give you thanks for everything that you know you are doing in our lives i thank you for even um the place you've placed us right now um financially um family wise lord god we if we were in a different place i don't know what would you know what would we do I, I don't know what you're trying to bring into into vision into us god there's something you're trying to speak more to us and let us not not miss um, um the lines you know whatever you're saying let we really get what you're trying to make a, a point out of you're not um challenging us father for just no reason this is to grow our faith this is to grow our our, 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 um, our hope father god in you to mm -hmm. trust in you father i just pray that god you you give us the the discernment you give sure. us the wisdom father sure. god to know what what to do father god in these times father god where we find ourselves um not knowing whether to go to turn left to turn right father god i just pray that lord give us wisdom oh god give us wisdom father yes we might be shaken by things that are around us but god you are still speaking you've always spoken from before father in god you will forever be speaking god father lord we speak life over ourselves uh, over our lives of our children of our family is father god we speak life for oh god father i just pray for the gift of discernment father god upon each person that lord god may you sharpen each person's discernment father god sure. that they grow father god in that discernment to know what is right what is wrong god and lord jesus so that we can be more closer to you more closer in your presence father god to know and to discern when the enemy is trying to trick our minds when the enemy is trying to play off the things that are in front of us to become things that uh, um, um, that we need to be doing Father God Lord Father may you just um, do something in us may you move something in us Father God Father is we even make these prayers Father God we are just not making simple prayers Lord God I just pray upon each heart the Lord you will speak from within or oh God from each heart that Lord God it will be manifested or oh God it's just not words Lord we are asking this Lord God and it becomes flesh Lord God it becomes flesh or oh God 
in us, Lord God, in our daily lives, oh Lord. Father, I pray for understanding in us. I pray for understanding that, Lord God, we will grow in understanding in your word as we spend time reading your word, Father God. Even the, 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 the verses, oh God, that we know, Lord God, I pray that, Lord, it will just be birthed, you know, you will bring revelation in these, in these times, oh God, as we seek more for you, God. And we want to be refined in you, oh God. Unveil your, you know, yourself, Father, open our eyes, open our ears, Father, to, to be attentive to you, not to miss your presence, oh God. So, Father God, I pray your love, your grace, your, your protection, fire God, to go ahead of each and every person, Father God, that, Lord, you'll be there with them, with their families, with their friends, everything they do, everything they touch, oh God, be with them, my Lord. So, God, I just thank you for this time in, in, in your word, in, in, you know, in praying, in just interceding and God just talking and discussing about you, Father God, just come and have your way. And, um, you know, if you do need prayer, please feel free to call on this radio station and, um, you know, somebody will be able to talk to you. They'll be able to pray with you. Um, so yeah, I just give everything. I give glory to God for your lives. And I pray that God will just bless you as you go and enter another week and we celebrate Christmas. May God be with you, protect mm -hmm. you, go ahead of you. Many blessings, everyone. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm.